There are endless opportunities that you could come up with when you're creating amazing graphics yourself on Canva. This is one of the logos that you could be making if you've created this graphic. Let's dive into it and create this graphic and compare it with the element that's on Canva. Step number one, I went to elements and then I searched for gradient. And then I scrolled down on my graphic gradients until I found the color that I wanted to, to work with. I found this gradient that's created by Customify. And then what I then did, I added it on my canvas and then I found that it has three different colors. So the gradient that you're looking for would be the one that you're able to edit colors and not an image that you can edit colors because if it if you can edit colors that means it's not going to pick up the gradient on your design so i sized it on my canvas and i rotated it so that the whiteness of the gradient is above or on top then i went to my shapes then i looked for this shape that's called pill then there's two ways that you can do the design or do the graphic creation is you could add a pearl and change the color of the pearl to a black and then rotate the pearl and then you're able to size the pearl but when we're using the pearl it becomes nice and big and fat and it doesn't follow that nice roundness that you saw with the graphic that we were creating so this is one way the other way is you could press l so that you create a line and with your line i'm going to rotate my line change the color of my line to also black and then go to where i could manipulate the line so that it has rounded end points and then the weight of my line, I made it like a hundred. And then I manipulated the line like that so that it follows similar to a pill. So you could decide whichever one that you want to use and run with. And But yeah, it's up to you. With the pill, it becomes edgy. Whereas with the line, it sticks to being round, which I like. So I'm going to delete the, and then stick to the line. And once you've added your line and you've changed it to a black color, I then went to my transparency and I reduced the transparency to 40. I'm going to change the color of the second color so that I make it a little bit lighter on top. And then step number one is done. So it's picking up the gradient color and I went and I downloaded this as a transparent background. So if you don't have transparent background and you want to test this out, go to my description below and go on the Canva for 30 days and test it out. Then I, I, I went and I downloaded it and then I step number two, I edit second page. I dragged my transparent background to my uploads so that it is added there. And then I added it to my canvas and I sized it to fill the canvas. Next, I highlighted my picture. Then I went to edit image and I went to background remover. Again, if you don't have Canva Pro, you won't be able to do this. You need to test it out using the description below. Cool. Sometimes it doesn't take away the colors the way that you, you like. So if it didn't do that, you can always click on restore and restore whatever portion the background remover has taken away from your design so if it has done it nicely like this one we're happy we're going to click on apply and then we're going to adjust the color so that it picks up the color that we want then you're going to play around with your brightness and your co contrast makes it so contrasty and beautiful then you would, you're going to play around with the colors until you pick the color that you like. Look at the saturation. It makes it so nice. After you've edited and you adjusted the colors and the brightness, you're then going to download it as a transparent background, page number two, and then you are ready to design it the way that you want. Adding a third page, uploading the downloaded design and then I'm going to add it to my canvas and I'm going to crop out the extra space. I click on done and then I'm going to adjust it and rotate it and duplicate it and then download it so you could 
have different kinds of these designs. As you see, I've made a, a, a pinkish one that looks like the, way, the, the one that you see. So you have different kinds of beautiful designs that you are creating. Let me know if you want me to create this video for this logo that I've done. If you want to see when we were creating an A video as a graphic that we found on Canva, go watch this video. I will see you on the next video. Thank you.